Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. We're off to go and get a Bosa to join our cause, which I'm sure she'll be happy to do, being the mother figure the to Gerudo Zelda. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Zelda's Gerudo Desert, was comprised entirely of women. They were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo, was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. The Jaeger clan. That's the unexpected turn. We all expected it from the trailers, you know. Or not. Ah. Are they just upset because Link is a man? Why? Why are the Gerudo attacking us? It's either because Link's a man or because but of the Jaeger. To explain everything if we can reach her. It, it's either Jaeger or Link is a man, and no one likes that. The Hyrulean forces are attacking, just as Lady Abosa. What? That doesn't make sense. Huh. Avosa is apparently worried that the Hyrulean forces are attempting to take her land. You know what? I somehow doubt that. I have a funny feeling that this Avosa is a fake. That's... that's my best guess as to why she'd be like this. Is she's not herself. After all, thinking that Hyrulean forces would be trying to take the desert? No, no, no. That's crazy talk. Just crazy enough to be fake. Besides, Abosa would never order anyone to take down Princess Zelda. That, no. Those two are way too close for that. Uh, what about we've taken the bait? Abosa said we had taken the bait. They don't know what bait that is. Oh, is it the fact that I killed the Wizrobe? The Wizrobe was bait to make them think they had monsters to deal with. I see. The power of my butt ladle. You will be defeated, Gerudo Captain. Hey, Korok. Wasn't expecting to see you here. I was just coming to open this chest. And of course, there's another Korok all the way up here, in the top right corner. Of course. Ooh, another Korok. Hidden away, as per usual. I suppose I should carry on with the, uh, main mission, though. Hello, Gerudo. Goodbye, Gerudo. As you all are going to be blown up. You know, this this is just knocking them out though, right? I'm not killing these four women, am I? I mean, yeah, sure, they can fight for themselves, but I have bombs. They don't have bombs. It's kind of an unfair advantage. And this captain is going down. Goodbye, man. Uh, hmm. A 
Moses. Huh, a Gerudo soldier just pointed out that Abosa isn't acting like herself. Hmm. Because Abosa called her own women dithering fools and was telling her to defeat us already. That's a very rude thing to say. Abosa's not that rude. She would never insult her allies. And we're in. We have entered Gerudo Town. There's probably a Korok around a corner somewhere, hidden away. I'll figure it out. Like in this storeroom. No. Like over here somewhere. No, this is where I came from. Uh, no Koroks in that little loop there. Confirmed. Although, you know, there's a lot of nooks and crannies in uh, Dorito Town, so I've still got to be careful. Hmm. We've knocked out every single Gerudo soldier there is. I wonder if that would be inconvenient. For example, if the Yiga clan attacked. That sure would suck if your entire army was gone. Abosa! That <laughs> shot looks a lot cooler Why? without my face on what it. What are you doing? Thwarting your destiny, of course. Mm. Princess Zelda. Hmm. I came back as quickly as I could. <gasps> Gee, it's almost like this was the Not fake. exactly what I expected to find. Abosa? I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> That's better. I'm not. <laughs> the real Abosa Gerudo Tempest. Literal Master Koga. Thinking you can go toe to toe with. Master Koga! Master Koga, top banana of the Yiga clan. I'll show top you! Top banana, of course. <laughs> Yiga, assemble! Me excluded, of course. Oh, of course. What? Good contribution, Egg. Ooh, I'm a Bosa now. Ah, uh, Yiga boys. It's about time I saw you run around. Oh, hello, Blade Master. I know I've taken too much damage as a Bosa because she's low level still. Done. Hey, Blade Master, I'd like a word with you. Ow. I wasn't expecting him to teleport to face my direction. Huh. There's two of them. I, and he just teleported onto me. Oops. Forget the eager in the throne room. Got to take care of that guy. You really think you can teleport onto me like that? That's better. Why 
I can almost it just tells them to stop when she uses stasis. It, it's just stop. What? Uh, I got stuck on I got stuck on one of the decorative plants when I tried to dodge him. That's what happened. Well, not a good idea to stay as a bosa during this. But there's two more Blade Master within the walls of this town. You, sir. I'd appreciate if you didn't attack the princess that I am meant to serve and protect. And another one bites the sand. Like another one bites the dust, but Verna does it. Wait a minute, I remember this from a gameplay demo ages ago. Hello, Cora. But we can go up and into the bar for no apparent reason. Oh, there's a chest in here. That's an apparent reason. Cool. There's another Blade Master over on this side of town. Hey, uh, sir. Would you mind not doing any of the things that you're doing? I mean, invading a town is just rude. Ow. I, I really need to learn to be more careful about them teleporting. Ooh. Abosa is suggesting we bring a mul a, a muldoga muldoga into this fight. Muldug mul muldo whatever. Words. Hmm. Head there. I guess we have to go through town. Judging from the map having that area closed off otherwise. Hey, another Cora. Hello, buddy. Uh oh. A Blade Master spawned to block my path. Well. Sir. Hmm. Nope. I don't think you want to do that, sir. I think you'd rather just stand still and let me hit you. Right? Yeah, right. Goodbye. You know what? I've had enough fighting for one day. Let's get this small doga out here. Yep, I've used bombs. Defeat more Yiga clan with bombs. Got it. You know what? Zelda's probably more beneficial for this fight, considering how her bombs work. <laughs> her bombs. More like her big bomb tank thing. Hey, Yiga, what's up? That was easy. Any moment now, according to Abosa. Oh, it's happening. What's that rumbling noise, fellas? Here it is. Unfortunately, that one guy did not get eaten. I really hoped just one guy would be eaten. We did it. Oh, Koga is still on the battlefield. Great. 
I want to have a word with that coward. Wow, a slightly taller Giga soldier. Honestly, not my first choice of enemy. He looks weird being that tall and lanky. Aha. Uh -huh. I had a funny feeling there'd be a Korok in this dead end. And you're gonna make me use stasis too, huh? It just... I need to be closer when it does. A hello egg. Oh. And another Korok is our friend. Hooray! One more piece of poop to add to our collection. Uh, hello, Blade Master. So, ah, I was not realizing that my special attack would hit a bomb there. That's real convenient. That helped me take that out in about five seconds as opposed to a minute. Nice. Zelda time. Okay, fellas. Uh, do you have a blade master or something here that I can take out? Or will I have to just weaken the outpost normally? Freeze! Right, Krayonis doesn't work to freeze everyone around like it does in uh, Link's or in this. Oh, hello. You came out of nowhere, sir. Can I take your picture? Ah, uh, what an excellent pose for your death. Master Koga has no choice but to wreck us himself. His words, not mine. God. Yeah, he's gonna wreck me. <laughs> ah, God. Who does he think he is? Also, not sure if it's the same Master Koga we meet a hundred years later. Or if it's because, um, in creating a champion, it says that Master Koga is actually a title that's passed down. So this Master Koga might not be the same Master Koga. Or maybe he is, because Shika can live to be really old. I don't know. But... Hello, Koga. Ah. You want to summon a giant metal ball, which I can use against you. Well, thank you, Koga. Oops. Uh. I took a hit, but I'm alright. Uh, you really need to stop summoning things I can use against you. Ah, he got stuck in the ground, like in Breath of the Wild. Ah, uh, you were also round on the floor when you get him down to weak point. Ah, uh, great. And a photo. Ah, uh, this doofus. Another one. Good. I, I love that one. Uh, he's so pathetic. Oh, he'll obliterate me with his next move. A secret technique taught to him by his father's mother's father. Ah. I see. The Shadow Clone Jutsu. Now this. 
just gonna... I've, I've had enough of these ones. Ow. Um, don't know how I got a flurry rush there, but I'm glad I did. Um, still cannot tell which is which. Unless they're both technically the real him. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay. Great. Oh. I just regained control of Zelda and died instantly. Oh well. Let's try this again. Hey Koga. Magnesis. Buddy. Hmm. Maybe I should try using uh using the rods on him for the best smart idea. Secret technique from his mother's father's mother. There's two of him now. Which is the real him? It might just be both of them. I don't know. Ow. I tried to dodge, but I will. Ow. Both of you get hit by this one. Good. Ah, if I can weak point smash one, I'll hit both. Okay, I just, I'll just defeat both individually. Problem solved, I guess. I'm strong enough to do that. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Goodbye, Master Koga. Oh, that doesn't actually do as much damage to you as I thought. Good. And another one, Koga. Come on. Uh, actually. Okay. Barely got that in time, but I did. And that's the point. And finally, finished him off. You will never be a problem to the Gerudo tribe again. E except he will. He's gonna be a recurring thing. Yeah. How could these losers defeat me? Because we're not losers. <laughs> ah, his second in command that we've seen in the trailers, who is far better and more competent than him. <laughs> Effectively, the Nothing real cool. leader of the Suga, you're late! I nearly got peeled like a banana! Whoa. Suga. Right hand of the inverted eye. Oh, Forget God, what a title. It's time to retreat. I think not! <laughs> Thanks, dumbass with the bike. Y you're on recording, but... Damn. Uh... Suga. Fucking insane. Hold up. Hold up. I can drink a noble pursuit. Oh hell yeah. So, a Bosa. Wanna pilot that thing? Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit, uh, chaotic, shall we say. Gee, I wonder why. Abusa, we'd meet you anywhere. You know about the Yiga clan, I trust. Yeah, the guys we just Sheikah fought. Sheikah traitors working in the shadows to revive Calamity Ganon. Yep, I, I, I know the bunch. Those lowlifes have been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. So, the way Impus sighed. 
and the Jaeger named Shaker How Traders. How long can we stand by and watch them get away with it? No longer, I say. I will pilot this divine beast. And that makes You are more. precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Thank you, Obosa. Hug, hug, hug. Dang it. What As Zelda Princess needs Hyrule, a hug. I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. The name your mother used to call me. However I am able to support you, I will. Just say the word. You two are so wholesome. Just hug. There needs to be a hug. The Bosa, you have taken the mother role in her life since her mother has deceased. Just give the little bird a hug. Ah. Uh. Oh. Meanwhile, in the Yiga So, you turned and fled. Is that it? Well, if they hadn't interrupted me... It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. What? <sighs> well, no matter. My harbinger, show me the future. <laughs> The villain is the fortune teller. People theorized about that shit. The villain is 100% the fortune teller who prophesized Calamity Ganon's return. The fortune teller was not a good person. Oh, he, he uses the evil version of the egg to see into the future with that. He didn't get a name reveal in that cutscene. I want to know that fucker's name. That... That's insane. Holy sh... I... Sorry, I'm just kinda, um, unpacking that in my head, that... Ugh. Oh. Anyway, uh, Abosa, Gerudo Tempest. The chief of the Gerudo, who possesses the power to command lightning itself. She was close friends with the late Queen of Hyrule. Now she is entrusted with piloting Divine Beast Varnaboris. Ooh. I am so ready to fight that fucker. Oh boy. Uh, lots of new side missions, and an unlabeled one at Hyrule Outpost, the small village outside of the Great Plateau. Ah. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.